We are now familiar with the customizing settings for the business partner. And now we have to jump to Fiori Launchpad because we want to show you the steps to uh, just use the business partner app to create a new master record. So well, for this, uh, let's open account receivable. And here we have the maintain business partner app. So let's just start this one. And yes, at first we could uh, look for existing business partners so we can just uh, edit or, or just display their details. But right now we want to create a new one. And for this, we have these uh, options here at the top um, to create uh, just a person, an organization or a group. Right now we will create an organization. So let's click on this option. And as you can see, well, the screen changes completely, but importantly here at the top, we have the business partner ID field, the grouping field, and the creating business partner role field. And uh, well, as you can see, for example, even for the groupings, we have so many options for the roles, even more probably. But uh, what I just want to say, uh, and the point right now is that when we have so many options, even like for one given a specific field, um, it's the best, the best uh, approach probably is also to enable uh, in the like inside the dropdown the technical IDs, the technical names of the options, because sometimes and actually you can see that a bit with the grouping, we have some that are very similar one to each other, so we might not be sure uh, which uh, the one that we're selecting. So for this, uh, we'll just show some steps uh, that that uh, we can have in um, these Fiori apps to enable the technical names inside the drop-down lists. So for this, you have to come all the way to the top uh, and let's click more. Here we have graphical user interface uh, actions, sorry. So GUI actions and settings, and actually we will click settings. Okay, uh, the two options that we want, uh, they are inside the drop-down list section. It's show drop-down list with keys and sort the values of the the lines of the drop down uh, using these keys these technical ids so we want both of them let's uh, just select them save and well uh, now let's open the detail as you can see now we have the technical names and we, it's really easy for us to uh, locate this one, the internal numbering, which, if you remember, has the ID BP02. So this is the one that we have been just going through the settings uh, that we have in the customizing in the previous lessons. So let's select this one. We won't enter this required field right now because what we just want is we have to come all the way to the uh, create a business partner role. And we will select one of the standard roles that we have available, which is the FLCU00, which also, if you remember, we have been covering in some of the previous lessons. So here we have it, the FI customer. Perfect. Now, when we select that, the system will show this message. And uh, as you can see, just uh, on, uh, on the background, sorry, we have all these fields. And the system is just assuming that we maybe typed uh, the name of the customer, maybe type some uh, like the street or some other of the address details. And it's just saying, okay, you are uh, uh, right now, you're attempting to change the role. So if you uh, just create, you click on create, you will lose everything that you have typed. Uh, so the, the next thing that the system is just saying, okay, if you don't want to lose what you have typed here, what you have entered in the fields, then you can just save or you can cancel overall the changing of the BP role. But if you uh, agree with me, we haven't entered anything yet in, in some of these fields. So we can just come uh, here and click create because nothing will get lost. And now we are in the correct screen to create our uh, business partner. Now, another really important thing here, of course, is just the business partner field. Uh, as you will see right now, we will just continue with the exercise. We'll just continue with this demo and we'll enter all the, the values needed uh, to create this master record. But what you need to uh, uh, consider also is that we will leave this field completely empty. And why is that? Well, remember that when we were just uh, going through the number range uh, for the business partner, uh, we had it just as an internal number range. So that just means the system will uh, assign the correct value there so we don't have to do it. Uh, and we can just leave that empty. Okay, so actually, well, let's start. 
and of course we will enter the ID and the address details. So for this, uh, well, let's just enter city example customer. Let's enter the search term, and here we have the well, the street house field, the the number for the for the building, the postal code, uh, just the, the the city, so just the overall address details. So let's start with the street. And let's oh, let's just enter the the number for the building. The postal code and the city. Now we of course we also need to select the the country. So let's come to this field use the match code just to select the the ID for Germany uh, here we have it so let's just select that option and uh, copy the value to the field and also well let's classify this according to this uh, to, to the region so we'll use the Berlin region that here we have it the PE which is for Berlin and uh, well, with this we also need to to select the the valid language uh, just for if we have some uh, mail or just some classical correspondence uh, that needs to get printed and sent. Uh, well, what should be the language in which we should create those messages? So, well, uh, for this we will select again uh, well German. Oh, here you have it. Perfect. And now, actually, this is everything that has to do, like, just with the general data uh, for the time being for this customer. So now we need to switch uh, to the company code specific data. And for that, uh, because we already uh, selected the correct role, the FI customer role, we have this uh, push button. If you even like, if you go back in this video and see the first uh, uh, look of this screen, we didn't have this uh, field, but now we have it because we switched to the correct. A role. So let's click on company code. And of course, the probably, I mean, like the most important thing is just to set up the company code ID at first. So, well, let's enter the ID for our company code that we uh, created in the first lessons. We even show that, of course. And now to open these fields for input, well, we just need to click uh, press enter in our keyboard. And as you can see now, we can type. So well, uh, the ID for the reconciliation account it's uh, 121 and five zeros, which is just uh, trade receivables for uh, domestic customers. And uh, well, this is important, of course, because for example, every time we have an invoice uh, relevant for this customer, uh, we will uh, post that in the master record, of course, but it will also be uh, posted automatically and we will have that information like available immediately in the reconciliation account. Uh, so every transaction that we have with different uh, customers that but assuming all of them are all of these customers are domestic, uh, the, the values will be shown automatically in this reconciliation account. Of course, we could also have a, a different reconciliation account for foreign uh, customers, for example. And that's the point. Every time we create a master record, we know if it's going to be, for example, a domestic or a foreign customer or a specific uh, like customer that falls into a particular customer group. So if we want different reconciliation accounts, we could set that up and we'll just, well, we have to create them, of course, in the chart of accounts, but we uh, will also need to set that up here in the in the master record of the customer. But well, uh, now let's switch to the customer uh, payment transactions tab. And one thing we didn't mention in the previous screen, but that was also true for the reconciliation account, it had uh, that field, it had this uh, red asterisk and payment terms. We also have that red asterisk here, which the red asterisk, it just means that it's a required field. So again, you probably already know what that means, but uh, just to be clear, if it has this uh, field status that is requ a required field, uh, that means that we cannot leave this field empty. We need to select the value. So for the payment terms for this customer, we want just, uh, let's use the match code because, 
we want uh, actually the first one which is just a, some payment terms that uh, we are not giving a, any uh, discount uh, is just payable immediately do net so it's the id 0001 so let's select that one and well, copy perfect and that's it we already have everything that we need uh, for the creation of the business partner of in this scenario which is a customer so let's just save well uh, when the system uh, finishes writing to the database we have this message here at the bottom left but what's most important is that we have the id uh, remember what we have been saying for a long time now that uh, the number range for this particular bpo2 grouping uh, in the customizing settings the number range is internal so the system uh, has already assigned the the next valid id for this uh, customer so i mean just let's uh, write this down for future exercises uh, that we want to show but i mean of course we can also use reports actually in some of the next uh, lessons we will show how uh, we can run different fiori apps or even reports uh, in the classical uh, graphical user interface to uh, get to these numbers uh, but uh, well it's important just because this is the id that will always identify this uh, master record in uh, the system so well once we have uh, just written that down we can just close the app and uh, we're back in the Fury launch but with this we are finishing the lesson but of course uh, we just want to invite you to keep learning with the coming uh, lessons we will have a look uh, a deeper look into the master record a bit more and uh, of, of this customer and then we will continue with some other sections so thank you again